Hi guys, uh, so today we will talk about how big companies uh, do their deployments to achieve zero downtime and high availability. So let's talk about blue green deployment first. So let's say your consumer is hitting your API. So once your API is hit, it will go to load balancer. And then after that, load balancer will send that request to production region. Right. So this is the usual flow. So in case of blue green deployment strategy we will have one identical production region so the live region which will be called by our consumers will be the blue region okay and the identical region we will call it as green region okay so this is how it will look so in production we will have two identical regions let's say as a developer you are doing some code changes and now you want to push that feature to production so what you will do, you will just push your code changes in GitHub. And after that, your CI CD pipeline will run. So inside this pipeline, you can run automated test cases. You can deploy on your QA server. You can do regression testing, performance testing. So it depends on your application. And after that, it will do deployment on the green region. So it will not do directly deployment on blue region. So this green region, once the code is deployed, again, to be 100% sure, the developer or the business owners can hit the green URL. So the green URL is not publicly available to consumers because consumer will call, let's say, api.youtube.com. So this is our live URL, which will always go to the blue region. But for green region, the URL might be different, which is only known to the developers. and the project owners of uh, the application okay so developers can do testing like not the testing which will modify the database right uh, like you can do testing like to see if the this api is giving the expected response here right for example uh, for example let's say you have added one field in the api or changed some logic in the api then the developer can hit the api in the green region and see if the changes are looking as expected, right? Because both of the regions are connected with the same production database. So the database is same. So this is how it looks. And once you have done your testing on green region, uh, just to make sure like the changes are already deployed. So once your testing is completed, you can give command to the load balancer and you can ask load balancer that you can revert the traffic to green region now instead of blue so this region will be now your blue region because all the traffic is here and this region will become your green region so basically it's like a switch so green will become blue blue will become green and here we have old code right and this will be now the new code so now if let's say some issue is coming in the production right this with the new code then it's very easy to revert back to the old code because it's already here in our uh, green region, right? So load balancer can again revert the traffic to the old code. So that's why the rollback is very easy in this case. And zero downtime, how it is achieved, let's say when the green and blue switch is happening, right? So the load balancer will not cancel any request. So whoever consumers have established the connection with this region will get their response and the new connections will start getting established with the blue region which is having the new code so that's why no request will fail and that's why it is known as like zero downtime or high availability so during the switch also no request is getting failed so this is like the blue green strategy right but we can also do the canary deployment like with blue green so instead of switching all the traffic here right to the new region we can put some automation scripts in the load balancer and we can switch like 20 percent of the traffic or 30 percent of the traffic just to do the a b testing kind of thing so in case your api is not that critical right then the company will not spend money on two identical region right because the cost is getting double here so let's say in canary what will hap happen the load balancer will send the request here and then once we want to do our deployment, we will start a new node, right? So we will start a new node here and then push our code in this node or server. And then we will ask load balancer, like send 
20 percent traffic on this uh, new node and once it is tested then you can switch to your production region so basically it will help like this node is getting created on fly so you don't have to manage extra expenses and it is not like same configuration as production region it's just a one node or one small port or server right but in blue green if your production region is having 10 servers your green region will also have the same number of servers so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell icon for more programming content